Dela Wright, my envious. Welcome. It has been rumored that the only of Ife's parlors experienced the eight wonders of the wall as windshield of Queen Naomi's G Wagon got shattered midnight by a cat who was apprehended by Yanifa. Hey, <laughs> Wahala break yek, but they say if they if you close your eyes to facts, you will learn through accidents. And it is also said the wise create proverbs for fools to learn and not to repeat. Just because the lizard not his head doesn't mean he's in agreement. <laughs> now I don't understand why um uh, whatever you call it to whoever you are, you on, you know that Yanifa is in the palace, inside the palace of the Oni of Ife, not outside. You, the woman is there. And you think that they brought her from far away where she's coming from to come and stay in the palace and drink tea and chop bread and egg. No, they brought her for spiritual exercise. There is a reason why they brought Yanifa. And that is why they say when people are talking, people should listen, okay? If you close your eyes to fact, you will learn through accident. So whoever that person is, you saw a woman like Yanifa inside the palace. And you are well aware that she came for a purpose. You think that whatever you carry is so strong that you can come to the palace and do as you please and get away and it's going to be okay. Nah, 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 nah. Now they said um, Queen Nami's G-Wagon, okay? Remember a time where they said the only of Ife had bought a G-Wagon for her, okay? That G-Wagon is there, black, very beautiful G-Wagon. Now she was, that G-Wagon was parked right there inside um, the Royal Manor. And um, the parking space for the Royal Manor has a lot of cameras and everything. Like I have been reiterating from the information we gathered. They said the Royal Manor, you cannot walk in there and come out without anybody seeing you. And there are cameras everywhere. They said that um, they woke up in the morning only to find out that her windshield has been shattered. The entire windshield of her a, a G wagon was shattered, shattered like this. And then everybody became very surprised. I, th I thought this place is very secure. I thought this place is very secure. Was a question that everybody was asking. And when they woke up in the morning, and um, um, uh, as we are hearing, that the information got to Ulurina because she was not at the Royal Manor. And she felt very bad. At, but Ulurina had said she shouldn't bother. Now, be, by the time people will reconcile the situation um, to find out what has um, transpired, uh, they saw a small basin, basin, small basin, white basin, um, by the corner, just by um, a um, French flower. There's this French um, um, a rose flower that is, was um, is planted in one place. They now saw a white basin turned upside down. Now, one of the royal guards started running, going towards the white basin. So he had, they now saw Yanifa coming from the back saying, no, 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 no. They shouldn't touch it. They should not touch it. So when Yanifa got to that place, Yanifa was laughing and started chanting and chanting and open the basin, and Yanifa says, see the culprit here. Because at that time, when they discovered um, the windshield broken, they'd already started washing through the camera before Yanifa came out to see if there was anybody. They didn't see anybody. They didn't see anything. Everybody was surprised. What is this? What's going on? When Yanifa came and they opened that white basin, they saw that card that is being um, incapacitated. And um, that was where they found out that, look, Yanifa was saying this is the culprit. That this is the culprit. That 
uh, uh, she was on an assignment because she prided herself as one who is the strongest among them. After seeing what happened to others, or that there are so many of them who are still struggling with either stroke or whatever, they said there are like seven of them from the other card meeting that are still struggling with either stroke or whatever, right there. This Mumu saw, knew everything. And maybe uh, uh, this Mumu entered so many different places to go and get jazz after she has prided herself as the highest, the strongest, and all of that. She decided to come into the palace to come and perpetuate that havoc that people saw um, in the morning. Now, that was why I started by saying that, um, you know, people have seen this, but whatever will make a person think that. Um, Yanifa had just come to the palace to sit down and drink tea and eat bread and enjoy herself is what I don't understand. Seriously, I don't understand it one bit. I do not understand it one bit, okay? Because this woman is basically staying there right now in the palace and she was, you know, um, imported from her own station, her own home, for this same reason. And when you undermine certain situations, you get into very serious trouble. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Della Rama. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce. It's still on the rails. How are you guys doing? Della right, my Della right, my Della right, my own people. Della right, my Della right, my Della right, my super people. Eshe o, I do well. My people, may God bless all of you so much. I love you guys. I am grateful and I will remain grateful and I respect all of you so much. Thank you for your engagement. Your engagement used to boss my mind, my head, like, oh my God, oh my God, thank you so much for, you know, a lot of you may be in doubt, and but you're so civil when you make comments, and um, that is why I told you I'll never undermine your ability to think for yourself, and I keep telling you these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media. I told this round because I am a woman who is fascinated with the Udua culture. I love their culture, the Yoruba people. I love the fact that they are not giving up on their tradition, their heritage. I respect them a lot. And that is why I am doing what I am doing. But I always tell you, I do not live in the palace of the only of affair. I am just a blogger, not the hungry one, no, but I am a blogger. Um, when I get a story, I reenact it and I post it. I love you so much. So if this story we are hearing right now is the truth, we have heard that they have caught another cat though. You know those kind of cat that say, I am the strongest, I am the strongest, I am the strongest. So apparently it's looking as if right there in Ilefe, uh, the easiest means to use to do this traveling at night is through um, cat. They go through cat, they enter cats, okay? And now they say that cat was incapacitated because it's a cat that committed a havoc with um, uh, Queen Naomi's G-Wagon. They, 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 they launch an attack again on Queen Naomi and they launch an attack on the G-Wagon. And you think that with all the fight and everything that Queen Naomi has gone through in the palace, is breaking her G-Wagon that will make her pack her load and say, I'm not doing it again. Fa, 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 fa. So this is what we are hearing. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.